as a result of rapidly converging very different technologies. We move from one economy and one age into another, and it changes everything. When TI introduced the first handheld calculator, it was $1,500. And today, there's more computing capacity in a singing birthday card. We're moving ahead at breakneck speed, and there will be no time for rest. We're no longer a manufacturing economy. We're in an information economy. And boards need to be saying that information, that knowledge content, that's how we produce most of our profits. That's how we make most of our money. In this day and age, technology is just crucial to any strategy. You have a strategy without taking account of recent innovations and where technology is headed is, is probably going to fail uh, in most businesses. We've seen many companies that were very large and successful in one particular way of delivering technology when they didn't uh, pay attention to how the consumer is changing the way they want to consume their services or their products that they've gotten lost. What's really important is that at the time when we see new technologies coming into the market, when they're very nascent, and we don't know if they're ever going to amount to anything, is when you really want to start that conversation. Because at some point far in the future, this could have a big impact on our business. Technology should be an enabler. Because if technology truly becomes a driver of business strategy, then what happens is, as people start talking about the types of business problems they're trying to solve or the opportunities they're trying to take advantage of, you want to be the disruptor, not the one that's being disrupted. So you've got to have a staff and an organization that supports that innovation within your business. Most board members really don't know what they need to worry about as it relates to technology. Oftentimes, the agenda at a board meeting is set up to talk about what are our results and how have we been doing in our existing businesses. It's all related generally to the core of the business. Boards need to have a pulse on what's going on within the organization and to ensure that someone is looking at these emerging technologies and taking advantage of those. It's important for the board to exhibit a commitment more than just an interest, but a commitment to understanding how technology can, can drive value and the role that it can play. So how do we begin to solve the dilemma of more innovative emphasis when we address our corporate strategy? Whether you use an outside firm to help you do that, or you have someone on your board who helps to really integrate that. Someone has to be able to drive that into the conversation. Communication is an essential element of the relationship that a CIO can build with the business executives. This is built upon the ability to articulate the implications of technology in not only helping the business advance its strategies, but also in terms of uh, being able to help the business deliver on its current mission. If we are able to have the right conversation, then we can talk about how do we make the customer experience more efficient end to end in a way that is not a competitive advantage, but actually will leapfrog our competitors. What excites me the most about the landscape that we have today is that never before have we had the kind of data and compute power at our fingertips to predict likely outcomes, making success far greater. We are on the cusp of solving some of the world's greatest problems. And technology is really allowing us to live different kinds of lives, and I think business is taking advantage of that. We are seeing it in every industry. We're just at the cusp of what true advancement is going to be.